free. Hi guys, I just wanted to do my welcome video for you. My name is Pat Douglas. I'm gonna be your instructor for Introduction to Criminal Justice. It's an online course. So um, we're gonna talk in a minute about how I'm gonna set that up. But I just wanted you to get a feel for who's on the other end of the computer when you're dealing on your side. So I'm the hearing officer for the 23rd Judicial District Court. Um, I, in that capacity, which is Ascension Assumption in St. James, I hear all of the state child support cases, paternity cases, domestic abuse protective orders, um, stalking protective orders, uh, assist with pro se, meaning self-represented divorces, and I also have settlement conferences on a lot of the family cases as well. So I stay pretty busy up here, but I do enjoy my teaching. I'll be honest, enjoy it in person much more because I could, you know, tell you stuff that happened in the courthouse just right this minute. We have an attempted murder trial going on downstairs and the defendant fired his attorney this morning when trial was starting and uh, the judge would not continue the trial. So the attorney said, I mean, the defendant said, I don't want to be here and take me back to the jail. So then you have the question of, wait, did he, you know, did, was he given the correct instruction, the rights and all? So anyway, we'll get into that later, but that's the kind of stuff that happens at the courthouse day to day. I'm in my office right now. My office is actually um, at the new courthouse in Gonzales. We've been in here since uh, January of 2021. We are directly across the street from East Ascension High School, just to give you a feel for um, where I work and where where my office is. A lot of my lectures may be actually coming from my courtroom where I will sit and tape, uh, but today I'm just doing it in my office. So um, I think the syllabus is going to be pretty clear to you, but I did want to go over a few things. Um, the book, I think you will have now online access. Sorry about that. Online access for the book. I actually have still the hard copy, but it's this book. And the reason why it's uh, good for you to have the access to it is because um, I do follow it pretty closely. And you would get, just depends on the type of learner you are, um, but you probably would get some extra um, enforcement of what we're going over if um, if you have the book to read along and check the chapters and you know and just hit the highlights there. Um, the way it's going to be set up is this. I will tape lectures and upload them to YouTube and then give you the links. I, within those lectures, I will also have a PowerPoint and I will give you the link to the PowerPoint separately. I know with some online students in the past, they have a tendency to not want to watch the lecture and just fly through the PowerPoint. And that's all they need to do. I'm going to tell you that that's very difficult to do. You are taking an eight-week course. That eight-week course means you're getting three hours credit in half the time that a normal semester is. That being the case, you really, you know, you're supposed to be putting in six hours of work because you're getting a three-hour credit for this in half the time. So they're really, you, you need to put the time in. You're going to get out of this what you put into this. I will tell you that. If you just try to fly by um, you know, by the seat of your pants, you, you're not going to do well. Um, it is not hard to make a good grade in my class. The key to doing that is to be consistent, to stay up with the assignments, to do all of the assignments. The syllabus has it all broken down, but you can see um, that it, it's a lot on the testing. That's going to be very important. And I give you um, helps along the way. So let's look at what the grade is going to be comprised of. You're going to see some introductory items in these first few days. Uh, that's some stuff you just got to acknowledge the syllabus. It's a, you know, an introductory discussion board to tell me a little bit about you so I can have a feel for, for you know, what you're doing in this class, where you think you're headed, et cetera. Once we get beyond that, what you will have for almost every chapter that we go over is a few chapter review questions. Could be worth anywhere from 10 to 20 points. It's not usually more than five to 10 questions. Uh, those questions not only end up being about 12% of your grade, so they're important to do in and of itself. Also, if you see those as review questions, you will see them again on a test. So that's why you want to make sure you take your time with those review questions. You'll have two chances to answer it correctly, um, and then it'll feed back a score to you as soon as you finish. Um, you'll have two written assignments. One is going to be very quick for you. It's going to hit you very 
I mean, right out the gate here, uh, there is, there are some videos that have been put together of some are uh, victims of crime, some are defendants, some are police officers, some are judges. Uh, and I just ask you to pick one of each different kind and give a summary. Now for each writing assignment, I do have to put a rubric in there. So I'm gonna be asking very specific questions and to grade it, I have to look and see, did you answer those specific questions? So again, if you take your time, look over the assignment, make sure, double check after you write your assignment that you did answer all the questions and turn it in on time, then you'll do fine. I'm not your English teacher. I'm not gonna come down hard on the English you know, the grammar and the punctuation and all, but I, I will, I mean, I do have to grade off if you don't know how to write, that's going to be a problem. Um, discussion boards, this is the easiest way to pick up some points. Uh, we'll put a topic out there. You have to put your, actually it's it's speakers, to be honest with you, is what it is, is I, I'll have a interview with a police officer, an interview um, with an attorney, uh, an interview with a, a assistant warden at the jail, um, and you watch those interviews on tape and then there's a discussion board and you will have to put your answers to the questions that I've asked and then you got to go comment on two other students posts. And can I tell you that, hey, Susie, that was a great observation. Good job. That ain't discussion and that's not going to count. So again, if you put a little bit of time into it, you'll define. If you're just going to blow through it and think you're going to snowball it, you're not going to do well. You will have three tests during the eight weeks and then a final after that in the last week. That's um, a huge part of your grade. That's 70, 72%. You can add up the numbers, but that's a lot of your grade. Um, they are obviously all online. They're graded online. I do go back and check each one manually to see, because if you spell a word wrong, for instance, on fill in the blank, the computer can't pick that up. So, you know, I will double check those grades. And that's why if you see a grade come out initially, and then a few days later, you see maybe it go up a point or two, that's because I have gone through and manually made some adjustments. Um, most of your assignments you will see are due on Sunday evening at midnight. Uh, that's just kind of how I run the week. Class starts on the 21st, which is a Monday. So I'm running it. That's week one. And the next set of set of assignments will be due on the Sunday night before we start that second week on the 28th. Um, I do have a full-time job. I've explained that. But if you need to reach out to me, you can email me. Uh, you can message me if there's any other way to do it through Canvas. I do check Canvas regularly. But I am in court sometimes all day long, so I may not get back to you during that day, but I will get back to you. If you have problems with any of the technology, um, the links or anything, if you see that, send me something because you're not going to be the only one that sees it. This is a big class that we have signed up for this eight-week course. Um, I'm super excited about it. I think you're going to find that this class is much more real life than maybe some of your other classes. Not that I'm faulting them. Old math teacher here, loved my math. But um, criminal justice touches all of us in some way, shape, or form. And we're going to start with uh, the first lecture will be initially about some of the hot topics that have been out there. And they've been out there now for a couple of years. And we're going to go back over some of those names that, that everybody throws around um, when you talk about policing and how that works. Because what I want you to walk away with are the basics, the basics of criminal justice, and also just the understanding that this is not only important, this is touches such as everybody. Everybody is going to be involved in the criminal justice system at some point. It may be that you are, um, you know, just get a speeding ticket. Well, you're still involved in the system. That's the police that give it and the courts that deal with it. Hopefully you're not a defendant or your family member is not a defendant, meaning you're charged with something. Maybe you're called on to come do jury duty. You know, the case I just told you about sitting downstairs, attempted murder. There are people here for the jury. They're ready to serve on the jury and decide whether he did it or not. So it, it, it's much more real life. Um, I have a 32-year-old and a 24-year-old who both have um, college degrees and their master's. And they've already told me that um, 
they're not, nobody in my class is going to watch the news, keep up with the news. Well, that's a shame because um, you can't hardly turn on the news on TV or look in a newspaper and not see a criminal justice topic. There is something in there going on with criminal justice. The one that's real hot right now in the state is the clemency. You know, the governor put through clemency for everybody who's on death row. Um, and so it's, it's just, there are issues all over. What we're going to do is study the system from beginning to end. In other words, we're going to get a handle on what criminal justice is, what crimes are, and then we're going to start with the police because obviously that's where a case starts, an arrest is made. And once you go from the police, once they've arrested you, the next place you go to is the courts. So the second big unit that we'll look at are the courts. And finally, if you're found guilty, when you leave the court system, you're going into the jail system. So police, courts, jails. And if they walk away with one thing from this class eight weeks from now, it needs to be that those are the three components of the criminal justice system. So welcome aboard. Glad to have you. Um, I will post a lot of announcements. So that's the place to kind of keep up with what's going on. If there are any changes in anything, um, just know that that's a good place. You need to try to check there every day and see if there are any announcements because that is, I, I do like to, that's my main form of communicating with you aside from the lecture videos that'll be posted. So welcome aboard. Make sure you keep up with me. Make sure you keep up with the assignments. Almost everybody in my class ends up with a really good grade because they did their assignments or a really bad grade because they quit. They, could, they didn't keep up with the assignments and they got a few zeros. And once you get a few zeros, it's, star, it's hard to stop that snowball from, from rolling on down that hill. So just make a commitment of time. You know, my suggestion would be set a time aside a couple of times. It really, a, a lot of times if we're covering two chapters, which we have to do um, a couple of weeks during this eight weeks, then set aside more than one time during the week to focus on it. I will do two separate lectures. And so you can follow lecture one, do those review questions. And then another time during the week, you know, listen to lecture two, do those review questions. I think you'll find yourself keeping up with things a lot better. But anyway, enough of that said, welcome aboard. I will, um, I will post this and you should be getting an announcement on this. And then I've already published the class and you can see, um, module one, some of those initial things. And then you, you have a few more assignments. Once we get into the lectures, you have a few more assignments with the written questions and all. All right.